Hello everyone, it's me, Sanjay Vasu, back again for another video. This time I'm going to be doing it on the Cambridge Primary Checkpoint, Mathematics, Paper 1, the Specimen Papers. Let's start. Question 1, calculate 423 minus 298. Quite a simple question here. We can just write the answer, 125. Question 2, Fatima has 72 oranges. Four of them are needed to make a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice. How many glasses can she make? That'll be 72 divided by 4. That makes 18 glasses. Question 3. A. Shape two-fifths of this shape here. So we can see there are five columns. Five columns. So if we shade two columns, which is this amount. If we shade it, we'll have two-fifths. So I'm just going to shade it like this it's not exactly shading but I'm just showing the part where you need to shade B what fraction of the below shape is shaded so there are eight squares and three of them are shaded so that means it'll be three by eight question four the Venn diagram shows information about the children in the grade six class how many children in this class walk to school so that's 6 plus 6 plus 2 plus 5 because it's all of this is inside the walk to school circle. When we do that, we get 19 students. Question 5. Here's a number fact. 14 into 37 is 518. Use this fact to decide whether these calculations are true or false. 518 divided by 37 is 14. This is true because multiply, we get 518. Bring 37 to the other side, it becomes divided by 37. And that'll be 14. 37 divided by 518 is 14. No, as you can see here, a small number divided by a bigger number will be a decimal, and it's not 14. False. Question 6. Write all the missing numbers in this multiplication grid. First, we can see over here, 8 into something is 64. It's actually 8. And now we multiply that by something, we get 48. That something is 6. Now 6 into something is 42. That something is 7. 6 into something is 54. That will be 9 over here. Now 7 into 8 is 56. You know that. And now all that's left is 2 squares over here. How do we find them? We can see in these two that they are multiples of 7. This is 49, 7 into 7, 63, 9 into 7. So that means we can take 7. 7 into 7 is 49, 9 into 7 is 63. And now 7 into 8, 56. That's the answer. Question 7. A box contains 30 chocolates. How many chocolates are there in 6 boxes? 30 multiplied by 6, 180. Question 8. Draw a line 68 millimeters long. You must use the ruler. So, 68 millimeters is 6.8 centimeters. So, I'm not going to show you with the measurement, but I'll show you how exactly you have to do this. So, if you take your ruler, start from a point, draw a line along its 6.8 centimeters marked till the other point. We'll just name this line as A, B. And this has to be 6.8 centimeters long. Question 9. Fatima is thinking of a number. She says, double my number is 14.4. What number is Fatima thinking of? So when we take a number, multiply by 2, it's 14.4. Come here, make it divide by 2. So that number is... 14.4 divided by 2, which is 7.2. That's the answer 10. The point 2, 3 is part below. Plot 3 more points whose coordinates have a sum of 5. So we need to find out coordinates which have, when we add the x and y, we get 5. 1 plus 4, 3 plus 2, 4 plus 1. When we add these coordinates, 1 plus 4 is 5. 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5, and 4 plus 1 is 5. Question 11. 
shade find more squares so that the shape has two lines of symmetry what we can do is we can make sure that this thing is on all four sides like this and same for this square that means this one this one this one fourth one and the fifth one now we can divide it like this straight down the middle of both of the dark lines question 12 Write these fractions in the simplest form. 6 by 12 is equal to 1 by 2. 12 by 15 is equal to 4 by 5. We divide 6 on both sides here. And over here, we divide 3 on both sides. Question 13. Write each number in its correct box to show its position on the number line. You will not need all of the boxes. So 9,000 and 10,000 is there. In the middle, this will be 9,500. So 9482 is just below 9500, so we can write it over there. 9842 is 342 more than this line, which is 9500. So is this going to be 300 or is this going to be 300? So the difference between 9500 and 10,000 is 500. And halfway of here is 250. So if that's 250, that means 300 must be greater than 250. So it'll be over here. 9842. Question 14. Here are three mixed numbers. Write each number in its correct box on the number line. You will not need all of the boxes. Similar to the previous question. So 3, 3 by 4 will come over here. 5, 1 by 4 over here, 7 and a half over here. Actually, a similar method we used in the previous question, we're just using the same method over here. That's the answer. Question 15, here's a 1 centimeter square grid. Draw a rectangle with perimeter of 12 centimeters. We know that 2 into L plus B is equal to perimeter. So that means L plus B will be P divided by 2. That means 12 divided by 2, which is 6. So the length of both sides must add up to 6. So we can make it 2 plus 4. 2, 4, and another 2, and another 4. That's the answer. Question 16, what is the missing number? So minus 5, we add 3 to it. Minus 5 plus 3, that will be equal to minus 2. That's the answer. Question 17. A sequence starts at 340 subtracted each time. Sequence continues the same way. What's the first number in the sequence which is less than 0? So this will go to 140, 100, 60, and then 20, and then negative 20. Wait. We found a number here. Negative 20 is less than 0. That's why that's the answer. Question 18. Do you think on all of the numbers that are factors of 42? Of course, 1 is a factor. 1 is the factor of every number. Because 42 is an even number, we can also say 2 is a factor. Because 42 divided by 3 is equal to 14, that's why 3 is also a factor. 4 is not a factor because 42 divided by 4 is equal to 10.5 there's a decimal 5 is also not a factor 42 by 5 is equal to 8.4 not a whole number it's a fraction or a decimal now 6 is a factor so is 7 because we multiply these two together we get 42 42 divided by 6 is equal to 7 42 divided by 7 is 6 question 19 write in the missing number 0 0.85 plus dash equals 1. 0 0.15. When we add it, we get 1. Question 20. What number is the arrow pointing to on this number line? So every two spaces, the number increases by 0 0.2. So every space, it increases by 0 0.1. So if we go one space down, it will minus 0 0.1, which is... 89.9 Question 21 
The other thing is on all the numbers which are multiples of 25. 250 divided by 25 is 10. 730 divided by 25 is equal to 29.2, which is not a whole number, so we can't do anything around that. 675 divided by 25 is equal to 27, which is a whole number. So we can do anything here. So we can do anything here. 380 divided by 25 is equal to 380 divided by 25 is equal to 15.2 and that's a decimal so we don't circle that 55 divided by 25 is equal to 2.2 that's also a decimal so we don't circle that that's the answer question 22 a calculate 400 into 70 that's equal to 28,000 b here's a number fact 18 into 5 into 6 is 540. Use this to work out 18 into 5 into 12. So 18 into 5 into 12, when we take that 2, 2 into 18 into 5 into 6. Because divided by 2, we get 6. That'll be equal to 2 into 540, according to the number fact over here. That'll be equal to 1080. That's the answer. Question 23, add the missing number. 7.7 .7 add 0 0.34, we get 8.04. Here's the clock face showing digital time. 23 colon 23. Draw thing around the time that is same as the time shown on the clock. This is in 24 hours timing. When you change it to 12 hours, it will become 11.23 p.m. That's why this is the answer. Question 25. John records how many points each of his friends get on sports day. Here are the results. There are 14 results over here. A. What's the mode of the points scored? Mode means whichever one which is repeated the most. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. 12 is repeated. So the answer is 12. There's no other higher repeated one. B. Complete the frequency table. So 0 to 4 scores, there's only 1. So tally 1, frequency 1. 5 to 9, there are 1, 2, 3 scores. So tally, we have to draw in lines. So 1, 2, 3, frequency just write the 3. 10 to 14, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6, so tally will be like this. 5 and 6, you can write frequency like that. 15 to 19, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 4 there, you can write it like this. Question 26. At midday, the temperature in Moscow was 7 degrees Celsius. At midnight, it was negative 3 degrees Celsius. By how many degrees did the temperature fall? So that means 7 minus minus 3. It's equal to 10 degrees temperature decrease, which I should write using a downwards arrow. That's the answer, 10 degrees Celsius. Question 27, A. Here are four fractions, 1 by 50, 50 by 100, 100 by 50, 1 by 5. Which fraction is equal to 0 0.5? This one, 50 by 100. Because we make it into a decimal, it'll be... 5 by 10, which is equal to 0 0.5. B, what's 7 tenths of 650? That'll be equal to multiplying the two numbers. Cancel out zeros, 7 into 65. And when you do this, you get the answer as 455. That's the answer. Question 28. A, here are the heights of some children. Calculate the range of the heights. So the tallest minus the shortest. 156 minus 134. That's equal to 22. In centimeters, of course. That's the answer. Now we go to B. The range of the heights of three adults is 17 centimeters. They are possible heights of the shortest and tallest adults. So let's say this is the shortest and this is the tallest. 
That means the difference of, let's say, x, y. x minus y is equal to 17. But then x must be greater than 165. And y must be less than 165. So I'll just add an example, 160 and 177. You can write any numbers which are complementing to the two conditions I gave you just now, which is the signs and this minus this is 17. That's the answer. Question 29, A, write three different whole numbers in the boxes to make the multiplication correct. The numbers must be greater than 1. So 60 can actually be written as 3 into 4 into 5. This is just one possible set. There are more possible sets like 2 into 3 into 10. Well, anyway, this is the answer. B. Write whole numbers in the boxes to make this division correct. Numbers must be greater than 1. Dash divided by dash is 60. You can just make it 120 divided by 2. That'll be 60. There are other values as well, like 180 divided by 3, or 240 divided by 4, something like that. You can write anything. As long as the answer is 60, the answer is correct. Question 30. Write in the missing digits to make this calculation correct. Dash 7 dash into 6 is 1032. So something into 6 gives a unit digit of 2. We can write that as 2 into 6. That's 12. And now 1 carry over. 7 to 6, that's 42. Add 1 because of the carryover, so that's 43. There's a 3 here, that's correct then. 4 carryover. So something in the 6 has to be 10 minus 4. Let's see what is 6. So what in the 6 is 6? Obviously, 1. So this is the answer. If you want to, you can check this out. 172 into 6 is indeed 1032. Question 31. Here's a compound shape made from two rectangles. A. Calculate the perimeter of the shape. So now we can find out the blank side. This side is 12 minus 6, which is equal to 6 centimeters. This side is equal to 9 minus 4, which is 5 centimeters. So now we can add up all the lengths. 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12. That makes 42 centimeters. That's the answer. B, calculate the area of the shape. So now we can split this into two. This is four into six, which is 24 centimeters square. And this one is 12 into five, which is 60 centimeters square. So the area is 24 plus 60, which is equal to 84 centimeters squared that's the answer and with this i come to the end of my video i'll see you in the next one thank you bye